I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. Mahjong is a lot like Remy, but we play with tiles instead of cards. If you're new to this version, there's a link below the video to a player reference with the scoring on it, so you can follow along when I play the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. East will get 14 tiles. South, West, and North players two, three, and four, will get 13. Then we're gonna look at each player's hand and see where we can find score. For this game, I'm gonna say there's a three fawn minimum, and it's the East round. Those are variables that you have to keep in mind when you play the game. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Seems like there's too many tiles, but this is correct. Four on each side, six in the middle. Four on each side, five in the middle. This is going to be a challenge with a three fawn minimum because we have mixed suits. Only one dot, but we have five bams and five cracks. Chow potential, potential pung. I think bams, there's two potential blocks here. Here there's really either one here or one here. So I think bams might be stronger. Either way, we can start by discarding this nine dot and we don't really have to decide yet. I think I would hold the honor tiles, the winds and the dragon. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn, so that can bring value. This is the east wind. That's their seat wind, so that could bring value too. It is the east round, so that could bring two fawn if we can pair up and pung. So I would definitely keep that. So we can see what happens here. Let's look and see what we can do for player two. This is pretty nice. We have a pair of dragons, single honors. These aren't gonna do any good unless we pair them up, but we do have a potential chow here and here three dots, one crack. I would discard these and go for a half flush dragon pung. No flowers, by the way, for this player and this player, so that's a fawn right now. We'll have to see how that goes because when they draw flower, that will go away. Let's see what we can do for West now. two cracks, five dots, five bams. We have a pair and a pair. I'm thinking maybe we could work on all pung here, all three of a kind. That's gonna be a rough go though because there's only two pair. If you play all pung, it's better to start with four pair. We'll see what happens. We could discard these though for sure. Let's see what we can do with North. They have a number four flower. That's their flower. They're gonna get score for that. They'll get one fawn for that all by itself. So I'm gonna get a replacement from the back of the wall, a two bam. It would have been better to get cracks. 
They have more cracks than they do anything else. So I think we should play a half flesh. Cracks and honors. Wins dragons. Get rid of these. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to discard the nine dot for east. And now we look and see if anybody can take it. No, so we're going to draw. Four dot. Now they have a pair in here. We don't really have to decide yet. Let's go ahead and discard the six crack. Six crack. So nobody can take the six crack. So we're going to draw. Five dot. Now they have more dots than they do bams by one tile, but they have a pung in here. There's a pair. Either way, we can discard these. Let's get rid of that four crack. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. Maybe it'll help me keep track. So we're going to draw now for this player. If I drew, discarded that four crack, we could chow. Here's a three five. And that would leave a three five for another potential chow. Let's go ahead and chow. Let's see. So if I'm this player, we're going to indicate it like that. So let's go ahead and discard these offsuit tiles to them. Down here. Nobody can take the two bam, so we'll draw. Four crack. Okay. Now they have six cracks, five bams. Let's go ahead and discard this two bam. That was just discarded. And now we can draw here. Two dot. That's not really helpful. Well, now we have five, five dots, four bams. Let's switch to dots and get rid of these bams. Let's throw the three bam. Three bam, nobody can take it. So we're going to draw. Four dot. Okay, let's get rid of this eight crack and draw up here. We could pung. Turns get skipped. We're going to skip this player's turn and pung. Pung. So we're going to commit to cracks with winds and dragons. Let's discard the one bam. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw for south. Five dot. Okay, this was a good suit for them. Let's get rid of the five bam up here. They have more dots than they do bams, but they do have a pair in here. Let's draw three crack. We don't want cracks. Three crack up here. Can't take it. And down here, there's a four or five, but you cannot chow from the player across from you. You can only chow from the player on your left. So we're going to draw. Seven dot. There's a pair, but we already committed to cracks. There's a chow of cracks. If you mix suits with chows, you will drive your score down by three. So even though that looks good, it's not helpful. We're going to discard this four bam. And maybe draw. Let's look up here though because we could pung here, but we have way more dots, including a potential chow, potential pung, potential chow. I think I would wait and try more for a half flush with dots because we have to get them to three fawn. If we did all pung, they only have another pair or they have one pair here and a pung. They have no other way to go for all pung. At least here we can chow, so I would wait. Let's draw. Crack. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Nine crack. So we're going to keep that and we'll get rid of the four bam. 
now up here. This is definitely a goner. So we're just going to let it go. Focus on dots. Let's draw. White dragon. Oh, that's a good one. Any pung of dragons is worth a fawn. So we need to pung, pung. Let's get rid of that seven bam. Seven bam. Up here, we're focused on dots. Don't be tempted to mix suits here because that would kill their score. We need three fawn. Let's draw. Green dragon. We'll keep that. These fours are going to be safe discards later in the game. Let's go ahead and discard the one bam. Get rid of these tiles here. Nobody can take the one bam, so we're going to draw. North. That's a keeper. That's an honor to go with these cracks. Let's get rid of three dot. Three dot. Can't chow from the player on your right. You can only chow from the player on your left. So that three dot nobody can take. We're going to draw. Three dot. Discard. Up here, we can chow. That's their suit. So we're going to chow. So this is south. We're going to put it out like that. And we'll discard the nine bam. So we can potentially pung or maybe chow. We'll see. We still need work in here. Pung, pung, potential there. Let's draw. One dot. Oh, yeah, that's a good tile. Nine bam was discarded. Let's throw that. Nobody can take it. So we'll draw for north. Two bam. Discard. Drawing for east. Ooh, nine crack. Yes, there's a pung right there. If you draw your own pung, just keep it concealed. Let's discard the six bam. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Four crack. That would be a discard. Nobody can take the four crack, so we're going to draw for this player. Two crack. Discard. Nobody can take the two crack, so we'll draw. Eight bam. That is a discard. And we're going to draw four east. We just got through the second wall. We're going into the third wall now. We're in the middle game, so everybody should know where they're getting going to get their three fawn. Here we're playing a half flush with cracks. Here we're playing a half flush with dragon pungs, dots, and honors. Dots and honors, half flush. Up here, half flush with cracks. That's kind of funny. Cracks and dots. They're going to battle each other. The battle's on. Seven bam. Drawing for south. Seven dot. That's a good tile. Really good tile. Because now we have a potential chow. Or a potential chow here. And a potential pung. So let's go ahead and get rid of the west. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Nine dot, they paired up. That's a potential pung, potential chow, potential pung. Here's potential chow here or here. Let's get rid of the eight bam. Nobody wants it, so we're going to draw four north. Four flower, they got another fawn. Red dragon. Nice. Let's get rid of the eight dot. We got to get rid of these two. Okay, eight dot. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw. Two bam. Drawing four south. Two flower. They just got their own flower. That's a fawn. If you get your own flower, you get score for that. East. That's not a keeper. Single honors don't help. Probably we can get rid of that red too. Let's discard the east first. Nobody can take it. 
these are single 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 so let's draw three dot there's a chow one two three or two three four or four five six very flexible let's get rid of the four bam and we can draw here now one crack that was sorely needed we've got all these single honors we need to get some more cracks in here unless we pair up let's get rid of the seven dot Now down here, we can draw. I just wanna make sure nobody can take it. Here we go. One dot, no, that's a discard. Drawing four south, six crack, wrong suit. Six crack, nope, nope. Drawing for west, seven crack for west. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw five bam. Nobody wants bams. Drawing for east. Four dot. Get rid of it. We're going to pung. Pung. Okay, now here's a potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, potential pung. We'll discard that red dragon and nobody can take it so we'll draw seven bam bams are safe drawing for north green dragon okay seven dot we can get rid of that and now we have all these tiles here they're all singles we've got to get rid of them or pair them up so we're going to draw now. Oh, that's a good one. Pair. Potential chow. Pung. Let's get rid of the east. That was already thrown. So that's a good tile. We're going to draw for player two. South. Two dot. Okay, now. Potential chow. Potential chow. Let's get rid of this isolated two. And draw here. Now here... We could chow with a 3-4, leaving it this with another potential chow. There's still two more three dot, one more three dot out because there's a three dot there. Let's go ahead and, let's see, that was a two dot. I think we'd pass because there's already a three dot out in a discard and there's a three dot out in an exposure. So there's only one more three dot besides this one here, and the chances of them getting it is pretty slim. So if we were to take that three dot or two dot to make this, the chances of getting this three dot for this would make, is, is pretty slim making these two as is pretty weak. So I think I'd rather keep that chow. Maybe use this as a chow and this as a potential pung and this one too. So let's go ahead and draw instead of claiming that two dot. So we have four, 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 one. We need to draw. And that was a good choice because now we have a pair here, pair, chow, pung, or potential chow, potential pung and pung. So we do not need this for bam. And we could probably start getting rid of these honors here and go for one suit, which is a six fawn hand. Now we could pung here too, pung, chow, pung, pung, pair, something like that. So four bam was thrown, so we're gonna draw now for north. Nine bam, that's a good discard. Nobody wants bams. Drawing for east, we need a crack. Six dot. Oh, I could have thrown that eight bam. Either way, I would have had to get rid of that, that six dot. We're gonna go ahead and chow 
It really doesn't matter which one. We'll just chow here. Chow. And we will discard the five dot. And this player's ready to win on a green dragon or a white dragon, which is nice because they both will bring score. If we pung with the green or with the white, leaving a pair of either, that's still going to be a fawn for any pung of dragons. So up here now, we can, let's see here, those we can get rid of. Here's a pair. We have four, five, six here. We have a pair and a two, three. Let's just go the other way and see what the best usage is here. We want to be efficient. So we have a pair, two, three, four. Then here we have a five dot was discarded. Let's go ahead and pung. Pung. That would leave a side weight chow. And then we can discard the east, which has already been thrown and we're gonna have a scary tile there to get rid of. But they're getting close to a six fawn hand here. I'd keep going. Let's draw four north. One flower, that's not gonna bring them score. Eight bam, that's a discard. And we're gonna draw four east. Two flower. Seven dot. Either way, let's go ahead and get rid of the eight bam. Okay, right here, drawing three bam. Discard. Drawing four west, six bam. Drawing for north, nine crack. That's a good tile. One, three, five, seven, seven, nine. The East was a good discard a while ago, so let's throw that and draw now for East. Two crack, that's a good keeper. There's a Pung there. There's a potential Chow or a potential Chow here. Either way, we need a three. This tile's a bit redundant, so that might be able to go. Let's throw the seven dot. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw one crack. Let's pung right here. Pung. Let's discard the south. Drawing for south. Red. Ooh, red. Drawing for west. A dot. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Let's discard the green dragon. It's kind of hard to have those honor tiles late in the game, but there's still a big wall left. That's going to be Mahjong right here. That's the winning tile right there. Chow, Pung, Pear, there's a Pung, a Chow, and a valuable flower, two flower. So they got a nice hand here, half flush. They have a mixture of pungs and chows, which is okay. So we have a chow, pung, chow, pung, pair. One, two, three, four, five blocks. And then a flower. So the score would be three fawn for a half flesh, another fawn for the flower, or the uh, dragon, that would be four, and then a fawn for their flower. So that's five. So that would be five fawn for south. 16 point hand, these two pay 16. This player, since they threw it, pays double. So that's 32 points for a total of 64 points.
That was a relatively quick game for a big hand, half flesh with dragon pungs, and we didn't even get to the end of the third wall. Not bad. Don't forget to look for a link below the video for the player reference so you can learn the scoring. And if you need a set, there should be a link below the video to where you can get a set so you can play at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell afterwards so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, May all your picks be keepers.